Well, 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 it's Mark, your garage engineer. Well, garage guy. Now, I'm not coming to you this evening on any fancy, nothing fancy, nothing great. For all you guys who are looking for technical terminologies, you will not find it here. It's just going to be basic. And of course, you need some technical knowledge. Now, I do worship on my church Zoom on Tuesdays. And things were fine until about two weeks ago. I noticed my audio was chopping out. And I had to discontinue the whole process. Let me show you my setup here. I got an Electro Voice dynamic microphone. And it's hooked into my Mackie Pro FX10, excuse the headphone, mixer, which via USB connection is made to go into my Lenovo laptop. Now it's a gaming laptop, so it carries high speed. The tracks come from my iPad, which I get my music from YouTube. And of course I subscribe, so I get the, the music that, that has no ads. So that's an idea, I need to subscribe to YouTube to get the to get the karaoke or whatever it is without the tracks. And you guys who sing, it's a good way for you to just grab a track on the fly, but you must subscribe to YouTube for that. However, what I'm pointing out, but what I'm going to say is that I noticed the audio was chopping in and out, in and out, in and out. And this is, may not be anything new to many of you guys, but for me, it, 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 it was an eye opener. For months, not even a month, about a week, I realized, I said, what am I gonna do? So I thought maybe, maybe it's the board. Maybe it's the, the board. So I, I went and I took the board back to the store. They swapped it out. The guys at Sam Ash Music Store, they're good guys, they treated me well. They dealt with it for me, swapped it out. And the board was not old, I got it sometime in October. So it was, I kept the box and everything. And guys, remember, keep your boxes, your twigs, everything, that if you have to return something, return it as clean as you can do it. However, I returned it, they replaced it. Okay, that's good. Hooked it up, feeling good, didn't work. Same choppy sound. Okay, I say, okay, maybe it's the computer. Now this is a brand new computer I got from Best Buy. Brand new computer, awesome computer. It was on sale, I got it for a good price. I'm not gonna tell you how much I got it for though. <laughs> but I said, maybe it needed more ROM, more space. That's what I was told. So I went and I installed another eight gig. So now I'm up to 16. Came home all excited, hooked it up. Same thing. I said, no man, something must be wrong. I can't, something must be wrong. Then I made a video directly on the computer with, without, without coming through, without coming through the, the entire Zoom setup. Sounded fine. So okay, I said, let me send it through Zoom to see what it will sound like. And this is what I discovered. And maybe, as I said before, maybe a couple of you guys know, but this is for the people who are experiencing the same thing. If you have audio coming in from another source into your laptop by an interface or a sound card or something, you have to realize that you have to select where it is coming from. You have to download, first of all, the drivers that uh, relates to that device. Now, when I went to Zoom, let me show you, I, I don't have much of a screen here. Right here, where you see audio, where you see audio is, you click on that. That will take you to this page where you will see test speaker and you see test mic. On this line that you see, line pro effects that's the mixer that's over there that shows you where the signal is coming from this part shows you where the signal needs to output from could be the speaker of the laptop can also be the speaker of your monitor that is hooked up in the in the correct way but the problem i was having the audio was choppy so then i went to this part that says Zoom optimize audio. You click on that 
and it drops down and you will see three setup auto low medium and high now if it's an auto it will chop out it will chip out if you put it on low it may work but faintly medium would chop it out even more high would cut it out even more for you as a musician select original sounds for musicians you see when you select that it disables that function it disables that function what that is really is some kind of a noise suppressing uh, a program they have there that keeps background noise down if you're using the microphone on your computer now as a musician you need to have that disabled if you do not disable that your audio will become choppy it's nothing wrong with your computer nothing is wrong with your software nothing is wrong with whatever the, whatever you're doing it simply means that that setting needs to be set that you disable all that function now you can do a test after you have figured it out you go back up here and you press test mic now you're not testing the mic you're testing the signal that's coming in you run a test to make sure whatever is coming in and going out is not chopping up you can do this on your own and save yourself a bunch of headache okay friends so there you have it in a nutshell how you can disable the noise cancellation function of your computer on your zoom setting so remember try this it will help you but it is no compensation for bad um, um, internet service make sure your internet service is good and make sure always to pay attention always do a test before you do anything so that's just my little thought today keep it in mind and see you next time